The Firewall event returns, new maps added into the game, and let's take a look at the shop and see how things are different now with Halo Infinite with this new update. So let's take a quick look into it. So we can check this out right here. We have the Firewall Fracture coming back in, so you'll be able to earn 10 new tiers. They should unlock everything else for you for this week. Let me just move my webcam so you can see what's all available. We have these knee pads, which if you don't know, these knee pads right here, the green sections do actually utilize the visor coating that you have on your character. So that's really cool. And so we have to some more things. This is going to be like all visor features cast up. We got an emblem, which is kind of whatever, in my opinion, a coating for your Warhog, which looks all right. You have another coating for your Chimera Spartan. Again, kind of all right in my opinion. The big thing here, I think, is just going to be these shoulder pads, and like the use of the visor coatings for your customization, which I think is going to look really awesome in the game. Definitely unique and good way to kind of stretch out that cross core customization that we do have within the game a little bit further as well. And then our emblem, which is kind of whatever, you know, and our coding for your wasp, which these definitely need some coding. So I'm glad to see that's going to be put in the set breakpoint pose, which eh, I mean, it's kind of cool to see to get the disruptor, get a little bit of love right in there. Again, the tag plug in wrist attachment utilizing that visor coating as well as a chest piece covering utilizing that coating. It's a little bit more customization there for your Chimera core. And as always, to complete these, you'll be needing to do challenges within the game here, guys. And looking through the challenges, they look to be rather agnostic as the way they put it previously, where really they're just kind of play the game kind of challenges like get assist, earn kills. Uh, we have shock rifle, hard light kills. So a little bit more specific kind of things, but those would be good for if you want to do like Fiesta to get those kind of specific kills, but you only need to get like three of them. So that's kind of fine. Again, like get like assault rifle, spanker, sniper rifle, bulldog kind of kill. So it just kind of comes around from just like managing power weapons and things like that. Um, none of these are really that specific. And the weekly ultimate is the bandit baller weapon charm, which actually does look pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, I'm actually thinking about like sweating out trying to grind out for this thing. So it looks really cool. Now I did a little research to figure out what the weekly ultimate challenge will be, and it is to kill enemy spawns with a bandit rifle in PvP 10 times over. Obviously, the best way to do that is to hop over in the big team battle that now features assault rifle bandit rifle starts. An exciting thing about this is that the community playlist right here has some new maps that are added in from the forging community. We did talk about this earlier saying it's about an eight week turnaround at the fastest when it comes to these maps being added into the game. This playlist was originally brought in back in February, so that seems about right. Maybe it's actually a little bit faster than we expected. Over on Halo Waypoint, they actually showcase the update specifically of the new maps that have come into the community playlist. We have first one, we have Solution right here. This has been a long standing map that's been very well received by a lot of people. Really excellently forged and really excited to play it. We have Vagabond right here, which kind of has a bit of a feel of like a new Mombasa at night kind of thing. Definitely will be jumping in and playing this curfew. I've actually jumped in and played this one a bit. This is actually a remake from a Halo 5 ODST Forge map. If you remember that place from Halo 5, uh, they brought it back in for Halo Infinite. This one actually plays out really cool. Really awesome aesthetic. Nemesis. I've made a specific video on Nemesis because this map is that good. This is such a good map. I absolutely love it. The visual aesthetic is incredible and I wouldn't be surprised if it actually just gets rotated into regular Team Slayer. Some new content to actually jump in, play around, and have some fun. I definitely will be making a video specifically on these maps later on, as well as if you want to catch up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel, people. What are you doing? You're missing all, all this amazing Halo news. I mean, you're kind of missing out on the whole thing. I'm just saying. Plus, there's like 78% of you are not subscribed. What's up with that? Anyways, back into the game here. We got to take a look at the shop as well. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of point of a contention right here. This is going to be very much focused on the Chimera Corps. It's a firewall week for this event right here. Uh, for the Peace Weaver set right here, we have a different helmet attachment, which, I mean, it's a helmet attachment. It looks, this one looks pretty crazy in my opinion when it comes to the customization. I'm not going to be picking this up. I'm not like the hugest fan of this customization, really. That's actually kind of a cool chest piece attachment right there. Uh, the coating. I mean, it like, looks all right. I like the shiny bronze effect to it, but that's kind of like an, a part of it that I like, but as together as a whole thing, the Peace Weaver, not really having it. The facing firewall right here. We have a new visor, which actually looks pretty sweet. I like that one actually a lot. And we also have the coating that goes along with it. This is just for the Chimera core as well. It's not, this isn't a cross core coating or anything like that, but kind of flashy, fun looking right there as well. We also have it for the assault rifle, kind of just an orange, 
eh, you know. Shoulder pads look actually look kind of neat with this as well. So yeah, you know, if you guys are interested in it, there you go. I have the Alright Hex, if I pronounce that correctly, but basically it's just kind of like a hexagonal purple kind of coating for various weapons within the game. This actually does look kind of nice, but it kind of reminds me of like the corrupted hex that we have already in the game. And from in game, it probably doesn't really look that cool. But again, it's just kind of purple. Nothing too exciting for me right there. The Bold Ambition Bulldog right here. And it's just a Bulldog coating for 200. A little flashy, you know, but again, just kind of standard colors. Nothing really um, gets me, nothing really gets me excited about that too much. We also have the return for the daily here is the pop for the VK78 Commando. This is a fun one if you're inter interested in that kind of stuff. Well, more power to you. For the casual playlist this week, we do have the return of Team Doubles, and it's just Team Doubles on your standard maps. I would really like to see if they can find a way to bring like Team Double specific, say, like Forge maps into this playlist. I think that would be really cool, in my opinion. But yeah, you, know, you have like attrition, elimination, CTF as well, King of the Hill. So a good mix of modes right there. Uh, we still have ranked free for all as the ranked rotational mode as well within Halo Infinite. If you want to know how the map Nemesis plays out, check out this video right here I made. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.